thank you for having us today. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Can you tell me a little bit about the name uh, of the bakery? Goats are just my favorite animal. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. I kind of hate um, every spirit animal, yeah. but I consider them a little bit my spirit animal because they're kind of spazzy and happy, and I'm kind of spazzy and happy. So. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, they like the alliteration of gluten-free goat. What led you to offer vegan and gluten-free options at the bakery? Well, the gluten-free side of it, I have celiac disease, yeah. and I really wanted to create a safe space for people that either have intolerances or allergies, or in my case, an autoimmune disease. But I just like yeah. being able to be inclusive yeah. for everyone too. So for someone to walk in and say, oh, well, either I choose to not eat dairy or eggs, or I'm allergic to dairy or eggs, and I want to offer them something and say, that's okay, we have plenty of options for you. How well have you been received in the Pittsburgh area since opening the store? I feel really lucky. I'm really well received. When I started the wholesale business, I had no idea that it was going to blow up so quickly. But because nobody was offering what I was offering, delivery service to coffee shops, uh, people were really hyped on it. Because I know myself, I walk into a coffee shop, often there's not an option for me for a little snack. I feel like it is really hard sometimes to find a vegan baked good that you can have with your coffee. So that blew up really quickly. And then after a couple years, we realized we really needed to have our own space to bake. We actually don't even allow any outside food that's not certified gluten-free. So we're really, really safe about that. Just because I know myself, when I go out to eat, it's very anxiety-inducing because I don't know if I'll get sick or not. And I take my chances, and there are certain places that I trust more than others. But in general, yeah, we're a completely gluten-free facility. Yeah, even though we were really well received, there was definitely some pushback from certain people in the community just because it is a new and different thing and people are still trying to wrap their heads around it. I don't think they're necessarily negative towards it, but they don't truly understand it. And we do get a lot of the same questions, but I'm happy to be here to educate people. It makes me, it actually makes me really happy to be able to share knowledge with people and just to let them know that it's not as unapproachable as people may think. Like being vegan or being gluten free is actually really not that difficult. It's just approaching your diet in a different way. You can eat hearty and healthy without having to sacrifice flavor and all that. The vegan community in Pittsburgh has been amazing. They're some of my very best customers and I feel very lucky to have them and they welcome me so much into their fold. So yeah, I'm just happy to be a part of it. You have a fantastic spread here that uh, you've prepared for us. Can you tell me a little bit about each dish? Yeah, definitely. So my favorite right now is the vegan BLT. We started doing that since tomatoes are in season right now and they're amazing in this region. So, so tasty. So it's heirloom tomato with, we make a garlic cashew cream, sort of as a mayo, so it's like an aioli, and then we make house-made shiitake bacon. So we marinate it with all sorts of stuff, spices, smoke, um, and then we bake it off, and then make it all crispy for you to put on the, uh, on the bread. And it's also house-made rosemary focaccia that we serve it on. And then this is our flat bread. It has curry chickpeas, uh, roasted cauliflower, and then also that garlic cashew cream, so we thought that was a nice combo, and just some chives on top for a little bit of a different savory flavor. The chickpea, curry chickpea, uh, cauliflower, and garlic cashew cream sauce uh, flatbread. I expected it to be crunchier by its look, but it's actually pretty soft. That's really good. The, uh, the curry is not overpowered, which is really nice. The vegan BLT, like seasonal tomatoes, which is why it's on the menu, which sounds delicious. Mm. The bread is awesome. The tomatoes are great. The bacon has really smoky flavor, which is delicious. Really good. This is the salted caramel chocolate cupcake. It's one of my favorite flavor combinations. I'll put that in my top five desserts ever. That is incredible.